Hello. Hey, come on in. I'm back from New Hampshire. I had a great visit with FIRST headquarters uh, on Monday. I actually visited with FRC, FTC, and FLL. I had a few things with, with each one of those programs I was talking to them about. I, I was glad to talk with the FRC engineering staff after their really big kickoff a week and a half ago. They were they seemed very relieved to, to be done with that, and now they're working on getting things ready to, to ship fields out to the team. So I think we talked about that on Monday. This past weekend, actually, Saturday at headquarters was lead robot inspector training. And a couple things kind of popped up in my mind after talking to people who went to lead robot inspector training. The issue I'm concerned about, that many people are concerned about, that we might see at events, especially the week one, week two events, would be a, a catastrophic event for a team if their bumpers are outside of one of the two volumes permitted, either volume A or volume B, described in G4. It describes these two volumes. If a team shows up and their bumpers are outside of those volumes, then they're gonna have to cut down their robot considerably to get their bumpers inside those volumes. That would be a huge, huge deal for those teams to have to deal with. It would make their weekend very difficult and make them go back and change their design that they've worked hard on during the build season. So that would be very unfortunate. This is a heads up that we're going to announce a contest. More details about this on Friday. So stay, stay tuned and check out Friday's episode of Lunch. We'll award a team or a group in first to creatively communicate this rule. If you can, if you can be the, the best at creatively communicating this rule within a certain time frame or a certain concise manner, then you will get some sort of a, a prize or award from Andy Mark. That's what we're going to announce on Friday. I'll give you more details then. We had a, a contest, kind of a, a contest started last Friday. So maybe what we should do is have a contest announced each Friday with lunches with Andy. So I think this would be our second week, our second contest. So we'll see, maybe we'll have more contests throughout the build season. Make sure you check out the Robot Sports Network. Make sure you check out the their check-in show. We're proud to host one of the teams that is involved with check-in, Team 3940. I was watching their video, there's Gus and Lucy. There's all kinds of teams, there's six teams involved with check-in. They're reviewing the, how they are going through the early stages of this build season. So check out, check in. On our team, and hopefully on your team, you're prototyping. You're, you're probably doing two things. You're deciding on your drive base. We talked about that last week and, and you're prototyping. I noticed some pretty cool things. I'm on the climb team with our team. So I'm, we're working on that. So that's present in my mind, but it's also like the fourth <laughs> it's the fourth important thing on our team, so we're pretty low priority, but we're still getting it done. The fuel team, the shooting the fuel balls, one of the issues they ran into when they're prototyping is these fancy compliant wheels from Andy Mark here, they are collecting some debris and some residue on the surface of the wheel, and it's sticking onto the compliant wheel. So this is an issue. This is not something that is easily rectified, but I think I, I bet that teams can come up with ways to make sure this stuff doesn't stay on here or it comes off easily. This is going to happen to teams who are using these compliant wheels, shooting the balls. And I heard that this is after a couple hundred shots, this is what happens to a wheel. So so we, we do have the, the Evo shifters selling. We're selling those now and we're assembling those. Taking us a few days to go through the manufactured parts that we just got in make sure they're of high quality and make sure we're assembling them. So we, we shipped a few out yesterday. We're shipping some more out today. If you haven't gotten a shipping notice yet, I guess you can drop us an email or you can call us up and ask where it's at. I would ask you to patiently give us a few days to get those things built and ready for you, packaged up and shipped out. Have we got anything on Twitter or Facebook? Any questions or anything? Anybody bugging us about any issues? Nothing. I'm more Nothing? Not you I'm guys haven't sent us anything? You gotta send us something. I mean, I, I know you're watching. Drop us, a ni drop us a line. Let us know how we're doing. Ask us questions on Twitter or Facebook or something. Or just, I mean, just give us uh, give us something we gotta work with here. Yeah, don't make me sound desperate in your editing, Brett. Uh, <laughs> stay tuned for our contest on Friday. I, I think this, this G4 issue is a big deal. 
and it's much bigger than like having an illegal motor on your robot or something like bumpers not being ready. This is a big issue that can really be a, a devastating thing for a team. So help us communicate this issue by participating in our contest that we'll announce more on Friday. Oh, lunch today, I forgot about that. We actually had pizza, we had pizza lunch today. We met as a group and we had pizza lunch today and um, maybe we'll go out for lunch for Friday and I'm not sure what we'll do, but we'll, we'll probably go out for lunch on Friday and we'll, we'll talk about more stuff then. Thanks and I'll, I'll see you Friday. Check out, check in. <laughs> that's, that's terrible. I'll leave it with you, you guys. You know I'm going to keep it in though, right? Yeah, I know. <laughs>